As the 2011 Major League Baseball season began, the Colorado Rockies shot out of the gate with a dominating 17-8 record, making them one of the best teams in baseball. It was also the first time they had a winning record in April since 2006. However, the heroics of April quickly faded as soon as May began. While the bats stayed warm, it was the performance on the mound that went south, causing an increase in their ERA, less strikeouts, and more walks per game. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse, pitcher Jorge De La Rosa suffered a season-ending injury and is undergoing Tommy John surgery, a devastating blow to the rocky season. These for me have been the team that's always a slow start. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to give up on them until the end. The only thing the Rockies have been in June is consistently inconsistent, alternating wins and losses followed by three game winning and losing streaks. Although their batting average is up this month to a respectable 274, their runs per game has decreased since May, leading to a mediocre 7 and 6 June. The absence of center fielder Dexter Fowler has also been felt on the field as he is a prominent base runner and had the third most hits prior to his abdominal injury on June 7th. Despite the injuries plaguing the Rockies, there is some hope as De La Rosa's replacement Juan Acasio shines during his last performance on the mound, leading the Rockies to a 6-3 win against the Padres. Although originally being drafted as a pitcher, Dexter Fowler's replacement Charlie Blackman's performance in the outfield is something to be noticed, and his 290 batting average will certainly lead the Rockies towards a successful season. Let's hope for a healthy rest of the season and that the poor play in May will be long forgotten come October. This is Paula Ruelas with Met Report Sports.